So, do you mind talking a little bit about like where you grew up and like how you would describe the area you grew up in? Um, so I grew up in a suburb in LA County, Southern California, and my area was, I would say, like 70 to 80% Asian. So everyone that I went to school with, our parents were all immigrants from East Asia, primarily. The next highest demographic group was probably Hispanic, and then there were some like Caucasian and Black people, um, but the large majority of people were Asian. My mom is from Taiwan and my dad is from the Philippines. My mom is Catholic because she went to a Catholic high school when she came to America and then she just like converted to Catholicism. My dad's side in the Philippines, it's like a very Catholic country. So my dad's side is entirely Catholic and my parents raised my brothers and I as Catholic. I have two brothers, one older and one younger. Only recently did we start to kind of talk to each other about our dating lives. Now that we are older and we kind of have the capacity to understand our parents a little bit more and like understand where their love is coming from and like try to understand the thought process behind their actions, it's been easier for us to kind of open up with each other and talk about it. One thing that I had to learn as I got older is like, it's not that my parents like don't care about me, it's just they have different ways of showing their love and like my parents and like Asian parents tend to show love in a way that's very different from my friends who are not Asian and that they're not as openly affectionate. Asian parents will rarely say like, oh, I love you, I'm proud of you. They'll show their love instead through like acts of service and like su supporting you financially. And Asian parents are really big on like tough love. I don't necessarily resent them for it, but I know like when I was a kid and especially like in high school, I felt like they just kind of saw me as an investment. You know, it doesn't feel good as a kid and it feels like they don't really see you. But I think like as I got older and I look back on like how they raised us, I see that a lot of that was just, they were heavily influenced by how their own parents raised them. And they just wanted to be able to do what they could for us that their parents couldn't do for them. As I like grew up and I started engaging in like romantic relationships, I had to kind of unlearn some of the unhealthy aspects of that and then like realize in what ways do I want to see my partner show me love in similar ways as my parents or in what ways do I want to like break the cycle and like see love showed to me in a different way. So there wasn't much of like a party scene or a hookup scene at my high school. I knew that it was a thing in college. I didn't really expect it to be as big of a thing until I got here and I didn't really think that I would I guess engage in that but once I got to college I realized a lot of people engage in hookup culture and I think one thing I noticed looking back is that a lot of people will engage in hookup culture even if that's not what they want they want to date the person but they feel like that's the only way they can connect to someone who isn't emotionally available to date them and I think one thing that I really learned especially like after reflecting this past year, is that in college, especially in, in this generation, I think there's a lot of pressure to just be casual and like go with the flow and like figure things out as you go. People feel bad for saying, yeah, I want a relationship. One thing I learned is to like really figure out what I want, how to show affection, how I would like to be shown affection and where I fall short as a person and in, as a romantic partner, I learned that it's like okay to say like, yeah, I want a relationship. I'm looking for a relationship. Obviously that doesn't mean that, you know, any person you talk to, it has to end up in like a long-term, like serious relationship. It's just like dating with intention, I think. My parents definitely did not want me to date when I was in high school. And even now they're kind of like, just focus on your education. It's it's like, okay, if you don't date, and I don't feel pressure from my parents to like date and be in a serious relationship and marry early, but I do know that my parents expect me to get married around the socially expected age, like around 30 and then like have kids. Even though I've like said to them, oh yeah, I don't know if I would want that. They would kind of be like, oh, you're, you'll change your mind when you get to that age. For me personally, I don't really think I want kids. And I also, I don't know if I would want to get married just because 
I feel like a lot of people I see, especially my extended family, like people who are close to me, they just marry the person they happen to be dating at that age. So like whenever it's like 28 to 30, I feel like being married is a huge commitment. And especially because in Asian culture, like they see it as like super taboo to get divorced. I felt like growing up, even sometimes when I feel like my parents would like argue, they would just not want to get divorced because they're Catholic and it's like against the Catholic church. So because of that, I kind of am very hesitant to marry the person that I'm dating at that time. And I feel similarly about having kids. Like I want to actually be in the right um, mental state, I think, because one thing that I feel happens a lot, especially in East Asian culture, is that parents are not really like ready to have kids. My parents personally, when they had my older brother and I, like they were having a really hard time financially. And I think they were stressed out all the time. And for the first like several years of my life, my brother and I were like raised by a nanny and we didn't really get to build connections with my parents at an early age. So a lot of times I feel emotionally detached from my parents. And I think that had my parents waited until a time that they were like had the emotional capacity to like raise kids and like be there for their kids and not just like be there financially i think that would have prevented a lot of the issues that my brothers and i had with my parents in our relationship one thing that my mom mentioned to me recently was just like it's okay if you don't date now like don't feel pressured focus on like school or like whatever you're interested in just make sure you don't settle. And I think like I was really surprised to hear her say that because that's definitely very different from what I had heard growing up.